guys, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna be playing a game today that I haven't played or recorded yet called Warm Snow. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited to check it out, or with you guys anyways. I've played a little bit off camera, so I do have like a little bit of meta progress that I've unlocked, but um, I'm excited to get into it. It's been a minute since I've played it. Um, you'll kind of get the gist of it once we start going with it. Um, I think I'm just gonna do like a normal run. Um, and there's like a ton of different like, st these statues are like, different builds you can do and stuff. Um, there is one I kind of wanted to do, show you guys here, let's see if I can find it. Not this one, it's the Sun Piercer one, we'll uh, I'll give this one a shot. So, instead of my regular flying swords, I get this thing that like, charges up. And if I, like, time it right, it's that, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's kind of get into it. It's, uh, it's a, it's a pretty fun game. It reminds me a lot of, like, Hades, almost, which is a game that I enjoyed. Um, I actually had problems beating Hades, though, just because of, um, I don't know what exactly it was about it. Um, just kind of got to figure out. Okay, yeah, that's going to be crazy good. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was just kind of trying to figure out my buttons and stuff again. Like I said, it has been a minute since I played this game. Not like super long, but... And then like a like I'm playing on a controller because like usually action roguelites or roguelikes are pretty good on like controllers so yeah. All right, I do. Let's uh, take a look here, because uh, you can look at all this stuff. Uh, shoot a flying sword. Yeah within the next five seconds, so. Every two flying sword attacks means next flying sword also deals three damage, which is good. Um, Pearl, we'll definitely take this one. Um, that could be pretty good. Um, although we kind of want the wind chaser herb, the flying sword attack up, that's really good for our current build, so we'll do this one. It, has the chance to like negate some damage, which should be really good. It's like a little difficult to aim on a controller. Um, This is a newer one, I believe. Um, so this one is like melee based. Um, we're not really gonna go for a melee based build here just because this isn't really for melee based. Um, the Sailing Relics, what that does is it um, currently where I have it now, it gives me ch it gives a chance for me to gain more HP or more attack. Like it's an it's a percentage one. So, yeah. Oh, you know what? I might have not. I might. I don't think I'm playing in normal mode. That's fine. You guys can see like the next ability up. Anyways, that's fine. Range damage plus five percent. She's cooldown minus four percent. If you have a flying sword boost, 
Well, I mean, we'll take it because we have nothing right now, but it's not that great. Now we're fighting a boss. We're fighting this wolf guy. So, yeah, it'll be... This will be interesting. I might... I have this like shield on me right now, so I can't take any damage to my health. All right. Uh, blood fungus. Um, all attack plus ten percent. Let's just do reduce sheath cooldown. Uh, yeah, we'll take this, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, what sort is this? Um, we're not gonna be going for tricolor crystals, so we'll... More than likely. I mean, it's definitely not, like, guaranteed. Um, chance for your flying sword attacks to trigger sword god mode, so that sun piercer will always shoot the sun piercer ray for two seconds. Upon dealing flying sword damage, summon a sword of heaven... That strikes the enemy from above, dealing massive damage. It could be really good. Alright. So yeah, then, this is kind of like a little in-between area. Um. Well, alright, what do we got from here? Well, let's just see what this Excalibur is. It's not... Not really that great, to be honest. Yeah, I'll reforge it. Definitely not attached to it at all. Same one. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I... Let's see, do we have anything here? Uh, nothing that I can afford, so I'll reforge it again. Melee damage. Okay, you know what? It's whatever. It's fine. This will be fine. Um, yeah, I've uh, been having some not issues with my computer, but I wanted to. Oh, okay, that's the big sword. Alright. Yeah, so I got like a new hard drive and I've been just having some like problems with my PC regarding that, but it's been like a whole thing, but I think I got it all figured out, so it should be all good. I have plenty more space too, which is awesome. The issue I was having was, like, my case isn't big enough to fit, because I had three drives, including my SSD, so my case wasn't big enough to have all of the drives in it, so there was one hard drive that I had to choose to take out, so I was, like, transferring all my data over to my new drive. Um, yeah, we'll do chest. We're not really... We don't have anything crazy going on right now, that's for sure. Alright. What I really like about this ray is that it pierces. That's pretty big to me.
That sword god mode thing would have been really good too. care of that finally uh see this is why i wasn't gonna go for tricolor i mean i'll take it right now because i have a free slot but it's not helping me out So you gotta like wait for it to turn. Timing it like keeps messing me up. Uh, melee attacks. Upon sheath your melee attacks when shooting flying sword. Okay, this is what we wanted here, and then we'll just yeah, we'll do that. We can get rid of blood fungus, fine, that's no problem. See, now we're getting that toxic damage too. The nice thing about this though is I don't have to aim it. Kind of like almost auto aims to the nearest enemy. I don't know if it does that with keyboard and mouse though. Alright. Yeah, no, this game is a good time though. I highly recommend it, if, especially if you like to Hades, because. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, this one I think is very good. Um, every flying choose a sword to deal, choose a spear sword, trigger only once per second. Um, that would be great with some other stuff. This would be great. Um, we'll do this because that could be really good too. And we'll just move on. Def this is definitely like a game though that I feel like is really good with controller. Just because of... I feel like that's like the... Oh, ouch. I feel like that's the case with like a lot of action roguelikes too. Or roguelites. It's just... You want to play them on controller because it almost kind of feels like they were built for a controller. Oh, that still hurt? Okay. We'll heal up. Ouch. This boss is definitely tough. I mean, I'm gonna beat him just fine, I just...
I feel like this game is like fun to kind of like show off your skills with too. Alright, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. You're dead. What is this? Oh, painting of Akim. A painting of a young girl sitting on a small boat in Jiangnan. The girl is wearing a green jade pendant. The writing on the back of the painting says to Shi, may we be together until our black strands become silver snow. Uh, what do we got here? Tiger's mark. What is this? Ooh, okay. All damage you deal and ooh, so now this is the question. Do I take Tiger's Mark and get rid of Pearl? I think so. Uh what sort is this? If you have Wind Chaser Herb in the core slot, your core slot is fifteen percent more likely to be triggered. Sheath cooldown minus seven percent. Uh I might as well take it. Get rid of my current one. My current one isn't doing any good. Plus melee speed is not what I wanted. Um, we'll just do this. That's normally where like an NPC would be. Would normally be there. I could definitely see, like, I, I was watching someone, a YouTuber, make videos on this game, and I could definitely see how this would be, and, like, some of the people in this comments were saying that this is the most powerful, like, weapon class in the game, and I could definitely see that. But, like, some of the builds he's getting are, or he's, like, putting together are crazy. Ouch. Oh, did I, did I put that in my active slot? What does it do? Oh, okay. Alright. Ukunai's order. Our time of greatness nears. The clan of the swine shall soon rise. Sealed letter. It appears to be a direct order from Lu Kanai to his trusted henchman. Watch my foolish brother closely. He must not know that A King is dead. We still need his power until I sit on the throne. Uh, upon dealing damage, fifteen percent chance. Are we gonna go poison build? Hmm. I. I think so. I think we're gonna go poison build and we're gonna get rid of Wind Chaser Herb. I think that's what it's called. Oh, I can't. Go crazy, go crazy, go crazy. Gotta hear the uptick in the noise. Got him. Oh, 
probably go for the elite on this one, I believe. Oh, except the elite's right there. Yeah, I mean, the piercing is definitely kind of awesome on it. I didn't want to, I want to attack the range guys. Um, what is this? Spruce herb? Uh, we'll get rid of it. Um, money or money? Easy decision. Go for this. Um, we're, this isn't like a frost build. We're not really making buy this. Um, see what we do. We're gonna take that. Uh, that I mean, spirit jade is great. Oh, what do we? I think we take it instead of this because I think it's better to just have a 15% damage up at the current moment but if we got like a better quality right. and we don't need to see that this guy is basically the first boss Like the first boss boss like there's been the mini bosses his attack patterns are by far the most predictable However, the fact that I'm not really dealing much damage to him at all is something that is a little bit concerning. There it feels like I'm not doing much damage to him, and I don't know if it's just because I don't have like a ton of meta progress, or just because the build isn't great. Oh, thank god that boss is done, right? Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'd do if that boss wasn't done. I'd be in trouble. Oh. Oh no. Second phase? All the bosses have a second phase. I was just... Just joking. No. You gotta... Oh, no. Oh, he's gonna hit me with it. Oh, he hit me with it. You must be joking. Why are you... And he hit me with it again. This is stupid. Well, 
I'm not gonna be able to dodge that. Okay, what is his hitbox on that? That's ridiculous. Uh, we'll make another run here. We'll do another run. I, I feel, although I'm gonna make it another recording just because of, um, yeah, but this is basically the, um, system you get to kind of choose everything, so yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, restart. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.